Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Every 180 days, my Windows Server trial license expires, so I need to reload my lab. And of course, after 180 days, I forget how to create the bootable USB stick, so we're going to follow this tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so this article came out at the top of the search, so I went right to it. It's well written, seems to be complete. First out, you're going to download the ISO file for server 2016. Then you're going to open the command prompt as administrator. I've already inserted the USB drive. So now we're going to run disk part. That's basically just the command line disk and volume manager. So we're going to list the disks and you can see my 60 gig SSD drive and a 28 gig USB drive with a little free space left on it. So we're going to go with disk 1, select disk 1. You want to make sure you've selected the right disk because clean wipes everything off of it. We're just going to go back and look. You can see here, oh, all 28 gigs are free on that. I'm going to make sure that I've selected disk one again. Now we're going to create a primary partition. And we're going to select that partition. We're going to format it NTFS. There we go. We're going to make it active. And I know the letter R is free on my system, so we're going to assign the drive letter R. Okay, and you can see the hardware just got detected again. I didn't understand the inclusion of this warning here about uh, UEFI bootable USB. I don't recall having to do that, so I didn't want to format the FAT32, but it does show you how to use the DISM to split any of the large files to 4 gigs so that they'll fit on the FAT32 formatted volume. Like I say, we're not going to do that. We went with NTFS, we'll be just fine. So now we're going to mount the ISO file. This will appear as a DVD drive. And we're going to copy all those files to the thumb drive we just prepared. This is going to take a while, so we'll go ahead and crop out all of the hourglass paint drying scenes. And once we get done, we just have one more command to run there. Okay, the copy is done now. You can see all the files are there just like they are on the D drive. So we're going to exit disk part. And then we're going to run that last sequence of commands. So I thought this was kind of fishy and the drive letter didn't match with the description down below. They're talking about G is the USB drive and we just used R above. Of course, D is the drive letter of the mounted ISO. So I'm going to change this to D. And if we run that, yeah, you can see the computer doesn't understand that at all. But I figure it out. Oh yeah. Let's switch to D. Let's change directory to boot. Now we're going to run bootsec.exe with the slash nt60 parameter against the R drive. And of course that didn't work either. So I'm going to take another swing at it. I'll just capitalize it and put a colon on the end. How about that? Hey, what do you know? It works. Alright, so I'm going to eject that USB drive and take it over to my server and reinstall Windows Server 2016. It's a great article, except that last sequence of commands got run together there. So, hopefully by watching this video you worked your way through it. I'll have the sequence of commands in the description below, as well as any URLs to the articles that I depict here. Okay, so here you can see I've got a new 
Windows Server 2016 install valid for 180 days, so my bootable USB media that I built from the Server 2016 ISO worked. All right, thank you very much. Won't you please subscribe to Shotoku Tech? Then maybe little Bobby won't have to walk the streets. Thank you very much.